I enjoy both features of the device, the um, uh, two-stage deployment and the ability to control for angulation equally. Uh, depending on the patient, a two-stage deployment allows for post, po you know, modification uh, uh, prior to uh, final positioning and uh, to adjust for the confirmation of the device to the lesser curvature of the aorta. The um, uh, new uh, platform is very useful in the proximal landing zone, but it also has advantages in the distal landing zone. A lot of times uh, the distal landing zone is right above the celiac artery, and getting precise landing of a device is, is important uh, to gain the distal neck or to gain opposition to the distal neck, and th the uh, you know, two-stage deployment uh, allows the physician to um, make final adjustments to the uh, device while it's in the intermediate diameter prior to going to the full deployment stage uh, above the celiac artery. The two-stage deployment has had a significant impact in our ability to um, uh, you know, treat patients with challenging anatomy. Uh, the option of um, uh, deploying the device to an intermediate diameter and making modifications to the uh, landing zone, uh, not just to the position of the device, but also to the angulation of the device, is a significant uh, leap forward. The advantage of having a two-stage deployment is that um, uh, you can, as a user, can um, uh, deploy the device to the intermediate diameter, shoot an additional angiogram, and fine-tune your deployment. The uh, two-step de deployment with active control allows not only a uh, intermediate diameter for fine adjustments, but there's also the angulation control, which allows the physician uh, to uh, uh, adjust the device based on the patient's anatomy, particularly the apposition of the device to the inner curvature of the aorta. The advantage of having a two-stage deployment is that uh, there's blood flow through the device while fine adjustments are made and um, the force of the cardiac output is not uh, causing any downward uh, migration. Bird beaking or lack of apposition of a device to the inner curvature has been a um, significant uh, issue uh, with T-bar especially with acute angulated arches and gothic arches. Uh, the new platform uh, provides the physician the opportunity to adjust the angulation and uh, conform the device to the inner curvature of the aorta. This is a significant um, advancement with regards to the ability to uh, conform the device to the patient's anatomy. I became a vascular surgeon at the cross points of the um, endovascular revolution, and I have been a witness to the evolution of the TVAR treatment modality, and it has been uh, remarkable how far we've come since the first generation, uh, you know, thoracic aortic endografts. I've been very pleased with the pace of progress since the introduction of the first generation TAG uh, to the current platform of active control. Uh, this allows me to offer this therapy to patients who have otherwise not been candidates for TVAR.